Welcome friends. In this video, we are going to discuss the problem of CSI NET December 2019 problem of ordinary differential equation. Example, consider the ordinary differential equation y dash plus y equal to 0, x greater than 0, y of 0 equal to 1. And the following numerical scheme to solve the ODE. yn plus 1 minus yn minus 1 divided by 2h plus yn minus 1 equal to 0 and greater than equal to 1. y of 0 equal to 1 and y of 1 equal to 1. If 0 less than h less than 1 by 2, then which of the following statements are true? We are given four statement. First statement y n approach to infinity as n approach to infinity. y n approach to 0 as n approach to infinity. y n is bounded. And the fourth option maximum n h belongs to close interval 0 t by n h minus y n approach to infinity as t approach to infinity. So, first we are given numerical scheme y n plus 1 minus y n minus 1 divided by 2 h plus y n minus 1 equal to 0 and greater than equal to 1 y 0 equal to n y 1 equal to 1. So this equation if we simplify the equation then we have y n h plus 1 minus y n minus 1 plus 2 h y n minus 1 equal to 0. Then y n plus 1 equal to y n minus 1 minus 2 h y n minus 1. Then if you simplify y n plus 1 equal to 1 minus 2 h y n minus 1. And we have given y 0 equal to 1 y 1 equal to 1. Now n equal to 1 implies y 2 equal to 1 minus 2 h y of 0. So y 0 is equal to 1 so it is 1 minus 2 h. If you put n equal to 2 then y n plus 1 equal to y 3 1 minus 2 h y n minus 1 equal to y 1 y1 equal to 1 so it is 1 minus 2h. For n equal to 3 y4 1 minus 2h into y2 but y2 is 1 minus 2h so 1 minus 2h 1 minus 2h is 1 minus 2h power 2. n equal to 4 so y5 equal to 1 minus 2h y3. y3 equal to 1 minus 2h so it is 1 minus 2h power 2. Similarly if we extend then y2n equal to 1 minus 2h power n and y 2 n plus 1 is also 1 minus 2 h power n. Now we have given 0 less than h less than 1 by 2. So the inequality can be written in the form of 0 less than 2 h less than 1. So if you multiply by minus then this sign will be changed 0 greater than minus 2 h greater than minus 1. So add 1 in the equality then 1 greater than 1 minus 2 h greater than 0. So 0 less than 1 minus 2h less than 1. So 1 minus 2h is lies between 0 and 1. Therefore, limit n tends to infinity y2n equal to limit n tends to infinity y2n plus 1 equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 minus 2h power n. 1 minus 2h lies between 0 and 1. So its nth power as a n tends to infinity will be 0. So this limit has value 0. So option number one is wrong which says that y n approach to infinity is an approach to infinity. Option 2 is correct which says that y n approach to 0 as an approach to infinity modulus y 2 n less than equal to 1 minus 2 h power n less than 1 because 1 minus 2 h lies between 0 and 1. Similarly modulus y 2 n plus 1 less than equal to 1 minus 2 h power n is also less than 1. So this y n is bounded bounded by 1. So option number 3 is also correct. Now in the option number 4 we want to find y of nh. So y of nh is the analytic solution of y dash plus y equal to 0. So first we are going to find the analytic solution. So y dash plus y equal to 0. So y dash is equal to minus y and its solution is y equal to c into e power minus x. If you put initial condition y of 0 equal to 1 then c equal to 1 we can easily find. So our solution is yx equal to e power minus x. Maximum nh belongs to 0 t close interval y nh minus y n. Here y nh is equal to e power minus nh minus y n and we can easily say that it value approach to 0 as t tends to infinity. Here we are given it is approach to infinity as t tends to infinity which is wrong. Thanks for watching. For more videos, 
like share subscribe press the bell icon of next gen